it's Demi and I am back with another Disney Wish video. Tonight I'm gonna to be dining at Arendelle. This is rotational dining, so it's included in your cruise stay, and it's the Frozen show and dinner, and I am so excited. I really do love Frozen. I'm not an obsessed fan, but I love Frozen, and I cannot wait to see the show and hopefully have some wonderful food. Don't forget, if you didn't see my full tour of the Disney Wish, go check that out. I will link it here and put it below, and, to, and I will also put the room tour link here and put it below but I'm so excited to be dining here I dined at Marvel last night go check out that video I would link it here and put it below but let's go inside and see Anna and Elsa and our friends and let's go get into some hijinks so R and Daryl is located on deck five in the aft of the ship and it's so beautiful in here first of all do not miss Olaf's and Sven's little artwork for Queen Anna. Congratulations, Queen Anna and Kristoff. As you are walking down the hallway to the restaurant, you're gonna see photos of your favorite Frozen characters, and the hallway is lined with this really beautiful um, wallpaper that looks just like the wallpaper within the home of Anna and Elsa, and is really beautiful. And what I really love is this transition from the red to the blue. It feels very like, seamless in a way, but it also just feels very immersive. It feels like you're in the story already. In the blue hallway, you have like some almost like Renaissance style paintings. Um, I Maybe it's something I'm not remembering from the movies or something. Oh, this is, oh, these are the paintings that were in their house because they're Joan of Arc. So that's what it is. So first it's their portraits and then it's what was in their home. I think this is so spectacular. I cannot wait to get into this restaurant. I had to walk back down the hallway because look, there's the clock when Anna goes <laughs> And even the portholes are like frosted with Elsa's snow. There's a bus of Anna and Elsa. It's so beautiful in here. Look at the stage. We got a really great spot right by the stage. Here is the table setting. We have these pretty napkins. The plate is really lovely. The lighting is bad, but it's really nice in here. Let's take a look at the menu here at Arendelle. Uh, this is your included dining, so you can order the entire menu if you'd like. You can order as much as you want. It's all included. Let's first look at the menu, it says, the royal family welcomes you to an enchanted evening. So here is our appetizers. We have Anna's cult board. We have Blushing Oaken's chilled white and green asparagus, Elsa's royal baked scallops, and Jarlsbrook cheese and rosemary ham tart. We have two salads, a Nordic cucumber and potato carrot salad, a Troll Valley baby field greens. Uh, from the kettle, it says, these are our soups, a Sven's favorite carrot soup, that sounds interesting, and a split yellow pea soup. They also do bread service here, so that's what that bread bowl is for. Let's take a look at our entrees. First, we have a dry rub roasted pork tenderloin, a pan seared Chilean sea bass, the Arendelle Koch cat, which is, I'm sorry if I butchered that, but it's meatballs. And then we have a juniper spiced roasted chicken breast, a, then a garlic and thyme roasted beef ribeye. And then our vegetarian options are a potato lefse. They have that sweet lefse over in the Norwood Pavilion Epcot, so that sounds pretty interesting. And then the Kal Dolmar, which is a plant-based beef. Sorry for butchering the name. And then they have a few options on the lighter note. First is a seared salmon salad, and then they also have grilled sirloin steak, roasted breast of chicken, and oven baked filet mignon, and those come with white rice or a potato. Here is the bread. It comes with regular butter and a roasted onion dipping sauce. Let's try it out. It literally tastes like when you make dip with onion soup packets and then you have it with chips. And because this bread is really crunchy, it kind of has that same feeling. <gasps> it's cooking! In case you have not been hearing, I have expanded my trading post and sauna and am now sole business owner of Oaken's Hearty Party Planning Services. But today is lucky for you. We have a wonderful trio of musical people waiting to be pleasing your ears in the meantime. The Royal History Trio!
Peter and thus all knowing, what should we do first? Yes, we begin with one of the great traditions in this part of the world. It's time for the skull! Yes, a skull! But I don't have a skull. <laughs> oh, love, well, a skull is a celebratory toss. And with Anna and Christoph's engagement, we sure do have plenty to celebrate. To Queen Anna and Christoph! To Queen Anna and Christoph! So Arendelle is our restaurant for tonight and for tomorrow. So we're gonna be trying a few things tonight and a few things tomorrow. Or so I thought. Remember when I said tomorrow night is pirate night? Well, I did not know that there is an entire pirate night menu for the entire cruise ship. So we're gonna see the Arendelle menu first with the Frozen show. And then afterwards we will see the pirate night menu. Um, so first we have two appetizers that arrived. Our first one is the Elsa's Royal Baked Scallops. It's shrimp, tarragon bisque, rainbow carrots, leeks in a flaky pastry. And the second one that came so far is the Jarlsberg cheese and rosemary ham tart, gala apple, Williams pear compote. Let's open up this puff pastry and see the scallops. What a mess, but there is the inside. Let's try it out. Look at that scallop. It looks good. Let's give this all a try. Mmm, that is so good. The sauce is really good. The pastry is obviously very flaky, so it gives it a nice crunch and texture. Uh, and the scallop was cooked really well. I have no complaints about this. It's very, very tasty. And I just want to keep eating this. The sauce is like really, really good. I like me a bisque though. So that's why I'm enjoying it thoroughly. This was recommended by my server and I'm really glad that we got it. Here is the inside of the tart, Jarlsberg cheese and ham. Let's give it a try. So while we're eating, the characters are coming around and saying hello to you very quickly, kind of, because there are a lot of tables. So Elsa just came over and said hi and to enjoy the rest of our evening. Okay, but now let's get back and try this tart. It's not bad, but it's nothing like spectacular. Um, the crust is not very crusty or flaky. I wish it was more like that. Um, and I don't know, it just kind of tastes like very eggy. Nothing really, but uh, like it's nothing really exciting. Nothing, no like really flavors. Um, let me try it with a little bit of the apple compote. Definitely makes it better, but still not spectacular. Our last appetizer has finally come out. We got the Anna's Halt board. It's hot smoked salmon, smoked forged trout, horseradish lefsa, salmon gravlax, sweet shrimp, dill honey mustard, crisp knocker brat. All sounds really fun and cool. It really reminds me of um, Akashuris and Epcot, which has yet to reopen at the time I'm recording. So this is really nice to get this treat. Um, I learned to eat fish at that restaurant, so I'm excited to have some fish here. But oh my God, we can't, we can't, we can't eat this because Olaf is talking right there with Oaken. And by the way, this is the first time that Oaken has been a character that you can meet, and I'm kind of freaking out about it. Okay, first we're gonna start with the salmon gravlax. I broke up the cracker and I put it with the salmon. Mmm, that is so good. The flavor of that salmon is really salty. It tastes super fresh. I eat a lot of smoked salmon, aka lox, in my neighborhood. Um, it's very tasty, it tastes really fresh. It's not chewy at all, that's really delicious. So what we deduce is that was the salmon gravlax. This is the hot smoked salmon. And if you're not sure what gravlax is, it's Norwegian smoked salmon. My husband informs me that they used to bury it underground and that's how they aged it. All right, so now let's try the other salmon. So it's served chilled. I'm not getting any hot. It's just very salty. It's not bad. It's the, it's cooked very well. It's not chewy or anything. There's really not that much to it, but it has like nice natural flavors. Okay, and here is the trout. I don't know if I like trout, so let's give it a try. Oh, that's so good. There's like cream mixed in there. It's very interesting. It's not like very fishy at all. It kind of reminds me of tuna. It's like creamy with fish, which I didn't think was a thing, but it's actually really good. And then we have our shrimp, and there was the honey mustard sauce here, and I, I didn't really know what I was supposed to dip that in, so I'll dip the shrimp in it. Oh, that's good sauce. Mm. Shrimp is fine. It's shrimp. Sauce, though, 
That's really good. Next up we have some salad. This is the Troll Valley Baby Field Greens, vanilla, apricots, brioche croutons, candied walnuts, and lingonberry dressing. Let's give it a try. Got a bit of everything. That is great. First of all, personally, I feel when you do a mixed green salad over a lettuce salad, it is just by far better, better flavors. And when you add in a bit of sweetness into a salad, it really ties it together. The sweetness is really coming through and then you have all these different textures between the nuts and the croutons and the apricots. So it's like, it's all like these different textures. You get these sweet flavors and then you get the, the green flavors from the spinach. That is an excellent salad. the greatest thing ever. I love this. Oaken is amazing. Our entrees have arrived. Our first entree is a pan-seared Chilean sea bass, white asparagus, petite leek, savory spinach, romanesco, peas, kohlrabi, uh, rainbow carrots, seared scallop, pea tendrils, and Majod vinaigrette, M-J-O-D. I, I don't, I'm sorry, I don't know how to say that pr correctly, but it looks good. All right, let's try it. It has a good flavor on the top from the char. It's a good middle of the road dish. It's not the most spectacular, but it's not bad at all. The lighting was so weird. We just shined the flash on it. I thought the scallion was a bone. <laughs> this is the juniper spice roasted chicken breast. It's scallions, duck confit, double fried, potatoes, estragon wild mushroom, I'm gonna say ragout, and let's give it a try. Here's the inside, this is a super thick piece of chicken breast. I honestly thought there was like part of it, it was bone, but it's all chicken breast, so let's dig in. I mean, it's chicken breast, it's fine. It's chicken breast, that's it. You know, the top like has some flavor from the char, but it's really not exciting, not really, anything it's the most like basic chicken breast but it's not bad at all especially if you just want like a piece of chicken breast let's try these double fried potatoes oh that's pretty good really thick 
and really salty. I actually really like that a lot. The last thing on the plate was the mushrooms, which I don't eat, so, but my husband eats it, so he told me it tastes like mushrooms in a brown sauce. I have a weird thing with mushrooms, but overall it's not a, the best dish, but it's also not terrible. It's very much basic chicken potatoes. Think of it of like getting a chicken breast at a wedding. That's the kind of chicken breast and dish it is. I couldn't have asked for a better Indian gift. Speaking of gifts, mother and father were from two different worlds, like the two of you, and their love for both Our lands and people not Let's take a look at the dessert menu. Look how pretty it is. I love how all the dessert menus have been themed so far. Okay, so first we have the apple cake. We have a Norwegian pancake roulade. Um, a, oh my goodness. Kve forge cake, cake, cake forge cake. I'm so sorry to the Norwegian people. 
your language is beautiful, but I'm having a hard time reading it. But it's a butter cake <laughs> with almond meringue, vanilla cream, and berry compote. Their signature dessert, which our server says is tops here, is the Trolls Family Rock Chocolate Bar. And then we have a no sugar added citrus almond cake and then the ice cream sundae. It's Elsa's Coronation Sundae. <laughs> Round one of desserts has arrived. First here, this is that butter cake with the really hard name that I couldn't say. And my server couldn't say it either, so then I feel a little more validated. So it's butter cake, baked almond meringue, vanilla cream, and berry compote. Next over here is the Norwegian pancake roulard, pancake, lingonberry jam, Jovic white chocolate cheesecake. I hope I said that correctly. Sorry if I didn't. And then we got the signature dessert, the Troll Family's Rock Chocolate Bar, chocolate cake, pistachio, cookie rocks, and hibiscus meringue. Let's dig in to round one. Here's the inside of the butter cake. Let's give it a try. That's very good. It's very vanilla-y. It's very creamy. Like, I almost like don't even taste the cake that much, but like, like you can it's not like in a bad way where it's just like everything is very creamy and vanilla that's so good I want to try it with a little bit of the berry compote and the whipped cream that's so good I love this it's so vanilla and creamy that is delicious must get this let's try the pancake I put the lingonberry on top too I don't really understand what I'm eating at all I really don't but I like it. It's very creamy. Almost has like a cream cheese taste to it. Um, and then like there's like a, some type of like breading around the pancake, I guess it's the pancake part. I, it's really weird and interesting and good. Like weird is that I just like, I've never had anything really like it. It's very good. This is very unique. I would definitely get this to try 100%. And I think it's very, very tasty, very vanilla-y and cream cheesy. Pretty good. Here is the inside of the Troll Family Rock Chocolate Bar. It's very moussey. It kind of reminds me of what we ate at Worlds of Marvel. If you haven't seen that video, go look at that dining review. Uh, but let's give it a try. Put the little meringue on top. Mm, a little different than the Worlds of Marvel one. There's actually like, because that was a flourless cake, this is it actually has like some cakiness on top. You really get that flavor from the pistachio, and it's really good, the pistachio and the chocolate together. And I really like the different textures between the outside of, of the shell and that inside. I actually think this is really good. I'm really surprised I like it this much. It's not my favorite. I think the other two are, well, I, I think at least the um, butter cake is definitely better. But this is really delicious and honestly very surprising. The lights just came on, but very tasty overall. This was literally so much fun. I I have not had that much fun like <laughs> in so long. That was an incredible show. Seeing Oaken, oh my god, as a character was amazing. The Olaf anima like puppet. Oh it was just so much fun and like oh so good. We are back in Arendelle for night two, and it is Pirates Night. All of the rotational dinings get the same special pirate menu. I did not know this when I came last night. I thought we'd be trying the rest of the menu, but we have a brand new menu here. Our appetizers are vegetable samosa, mar lime marinated shrimp, calypso crab cake, and a red and yellow beetroot carpaccio. Soup and salads are carrot and cilantro soup, chilled mango soup, fennel orange and quinoa salad, and baby gem. For our entrees, we have Jack's Treasure of the Sea, which is shrimp and scallops. Then we have a Caribbean grouper filet. Then jerk chicken, a lamb shank, and a strip loin. Our vegetarian options are noodle stir fry and falafel. And then for lighter offerings, we have a braised barbecue beef rib salad, or a grilled green sirloin sirloin steak, a slow roasted breast of chicken, an oven baked fillet of salmon. All come with garden vegetables and your choice of ripe rice or baked potato. On the back of the menu, we have specialty drinks available for additional costs, some specialty coffees and liqueur and dessert wines. And then at the bottom, we have our dessert menu, which we will come back to later. Our bread service came. We have for our dipping sauce a 
cold mango dipping sauce, which I'm pretty sure probably is the same as the cold mango soup that's on the menu, but let's try it. It's got like a little spice in it. It's very mango-y. It's nice if you like mango. It just really tastes like, almost like mango juice. It's not bad. I prefer butter though for this. And they gave us some cornbread tonight, which is different fine but I like the addition we got all four appetizers starting with the vegetable samosa with potato peas garlic cumin ginger served with taramin and mint chutney next we have that lime marinated shrimp with chili white corn sweet potato and onion and then we have that deep fried calypso crab cake with a Cajun remoulade, green onion, and lemon. And finally, the red and yellow beetroot carpaccio with asparagus, pickled radish, corn, cornicons, and mustard dressing. Let's dig in. Everything looks so good. First, let's try the vegetable samosa. That's the inside. Let's try it. Mmm. That's really good. The shell is nice and crispy. It's a little hot. Good flavor. You can really taste like the citrus in there as well and it's very good. Not citrus, it's that ginger that's really sharp but it's good and mixed with the cumin. Really good flavors, excellent. Good first one. Next up, lime marinated shrimp. The shrimp itself like is very nice and it's fresh, it tastes well. There's not that much flavor in the lime marinade. It's very, 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 very small hint of it. So altogether it's not the greatest but if you want like some fresh shrimp, it's pretty good. Crab cake, that is the inside. Certainly looks like a crab cake. Certainly a crab cake, but I will say the crust on the outside is super crispy and it's crunchy and that's really good. The inside really tastes just fine. Tastes like any normal crab cake, nothing really spectacular, but the crust is very good. And finally, our beetroot carpaccio. Listen, it was a pretty plate. I really don't know what a carpaccio is, I'm not going to lie to you, but what's here is just sliced beets, a pickle, and is this an onion or more beet? That's something pickled, yeah, maybe pickled ginger? No, pickled radish. So there's really nothing to say about it because it's literally just exactly what it is. It's just those vegetables put together, it tastes totally fine. It's very boring, but it looks pretty and it tastes fresh if you want like a fresh appetizer that's not like a salad. Our entrees have arrived. We got three entrees. First up, we have the Jack's Treasure of the Seas, grilled shrimp and seared salps with spinach, strings of pasta, tomato sauce, and black tomato curls. Next up, we have the lamb shank, rosemary lamb shank, slowly braised in red wine served with butter, green beans, and parsnip mash. Finally, we got a vegetarian option, so we can showcase that, and it's the Shanghai Stir Fry Noodles, egg noodles with nori, edamame beans, white soy sauce, marinated tofu, scallions, peppers, carrots, and sesame seeds. Let's dig in. Let's first start with the shrimp and scallops. and try a scallop. <laughs> not the best scallop in the world at all. It's not like chewy or stringy or anything so it's not like terrible there's just no flavor it feels overcooked but I mean it's not like the worst thing let's try the shrimp not really any flavor at all and actually it's it's very overcooked the shrimp it doesn't even taste very good that's not very good let's try the pasta I wish there was more sauce. There's like so much pasta and like very little sauce. It was dry. I needed more sauce. I mean, it was cooked like okay, but there's no flavor on any of this. It's so bland. It's really not good at all. This was, this would be a skip for me. I would never get this again. Let's try the lamb shank. It broke apart really easily. Look at that. I'm happy this came out very hot because a lot of times the food doesn't come out like as hot as I would I would want it, but this is very hot. This feels coming right off like the oven or something. It's fine. It's cooked very well. Like you saw it falling off the bone. It's there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. However, it just lacks like flavor, even dipped in the sauce. I just need some more seasoning. Everything is just very, very bland. And I understand there are a billion people on the ship 
and a lot of people like, you know, things not very seasoned, but I mean, this feels, these two entrees at least, feel like totally, you know, wasteful that you're going to give me a whole lamb, sh a lamb shank and there's, it's just like, n there's nothing on there. They just, they just put it in the oven. Let's try the mashed parsnip. Oh, I love that. That tastes really good. That alone, I wish I just had a whole bowl of that. I would eat this as a meal, 100%. It's very, it almost tastes just like mashed potatoes, but you have a little bit of sweetness because it's parsnip. This is delicious. Finally, the Shanghai noodle stir fry. It's fine. It's just bland. Everything is just really bland. Um, like, this is stir fry, and like, I don't even taste any, like, when, you know when you cook stir fry and you have like all the oil flavors? I don't taste any of that. It just tastes dry and just very incredibly plain. There's no salt, no pepper, n nothing. Every entree is just incredibly flavorless. But the, but the noodles are cooked fine, the vegetables are cooked fine. Like they're cooking everything fine. Like that's not the issue. Everything just really, really lacks flavor. Our dessert have arrived starting over here. This is the signature dessert, the caramel macadamia nut cheesecake tart served with whipped cream and caramel ganache. Then we have the bananas in paradise, layer of banana bread with hazelnut fudge filling served with a banana spice puree. And finally, the no sugar added gluten-free coconut cream flan with, uh, served with tropical fruits. They look pretty good. Usually the desserts are pretty good, so let's give these a try. Hopefully it'll save the entrees that we had. Here is the inside. You see all this caramel, the macadamia nuts, and the cheesecake, and let's give it all a try. Very sweet from the caramel. I assumed that was gonna happen. There are a lot of nuts inside this cake. It took a few more bites. It's pretty good. It's just really, really sweet. But you can taste the cheesiness from the cheesecake. Um, and the crunch from the macadamia nuts are pretty nice. The tart is fine. Overall, it's a pretty decent dessert. Let's try the banana bread with the hazelnut filling. Oh, I like that a lot. Banana bread has a really good flavor to it. It tastes really, really not dry. The opposite of dry, that M word that people hate. Um, and the hazelnut isn't like, like thick like Nutella. It's very creamy, almost like 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 frosting but not as sweet as frosting because it's hazelnut. I think this is actually really good. I like the dry banana on top. Mm. I think this is my favorite thing of the entire meal so far. And let's try the coconut cream flan with the fruits. So at first when I took a bite with the fruit, all I really tasted was fruit and just like just like something underneath it didn't have any like particular flavor. Then I tried it on its own. The coconut flavors are really, really light. It took me a while for me to even taste it. Uh, it's like super thick because it's cream. So it has like this very like thick consistency. Uh, but unfortunately, I wish there was a little more coconut in there. It was just, it's very light. So it honestly just tastes like a weird, like almost tofu texture, plain, I guess you would call it a flan. Um, that just kind of like is a vehicle for fruit. It's just really okay. Definitely my favorites here tonight were that banana bread and the appetizers. I've been seeing a pattern on this Disney Wish trip that uh, the appetizers seem to be a lot better than the entrees. Um, I So the banana bread, the samosa, and the crab cake were definitely my tops here. So that was pirate night here on the Disney Wish. Well, my dudes, that was dinner here at Arendelle with the Frozen show and then the next night for Pirates Night. And again, the Pirates Night menu is going to be at every rotational dining. So I'm glad I was able to show you both. I had no idea. I'm still learning as I go along. So hopefully you all learn from my mistakes. <laughs> but at least I was able to show you both things for this video. So I had a great time at the Frozen show. It was honestly one of the most highlights of my entire cruise so far. And I think... It was so funny. I'm seeing Oaken on I loved it so much. I bought the Oaken shirt. I bought the Oaken shirt. I loved it so much. Um, seeing Oaken and Kristoff sing Let It Go was the best part. And seeing the Olaf puppet was amazing. And then tonight, Pirates Night, you know, 
you know, it's, it is what it is. I, I like I get it. They are catering to a specific crowd, and I think I think you know it's probably safer than you know than to season things because a lot of people just don't. It's like how when they built the Connections Eatery in Epcot um, because people were demanding for it because they just didn't want to eat in World Showcase. People just have like really simple palates and that's okay. I still, I'm learning that. I'm from New York. We eat a lot of, you know, we have the melting pots. We eat all the food in the world. Uh, so, you know, for me, it's not the best food, but if you have a simpler palate, if you don't have all that kind of food, then you're gonna probably enjoy this a lot more than I did. That's just kind of the fact, it's what it is. So, you know, I'm sorry if like that's not what you wanna hear from me that I didn't like it or whatever. Or I'm not trying to say that I like, I have like a better palate than you. I just have a more, you know, experienced palate and I just eat a lot more ethnic foods and a lot more seasoned foods. But overall, the experience itself, the service is wonderful and Again, the Frozen show and the dinner. The dinner was great, definitely. Um, but I've had a great time here. And I hope this helps you plan your <laughs> wish trip and knowing what's coming for the Frozen night and the Pirate night. And make sure to go watch my full tour of the ship, my full tour of the room, and all of the dailies that we're doing, the daily vlogs and all the restaurant reviews. It'll help you plan your wish trips or help you escape a little bit to pretend you're here on the wish. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you did like the video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit your bell notification so you don't miss anything that goes on this channel. Follow me on Instagram at Magical Hygiene. Be sure to check out my Patreon. Become a patron and get exclusive bonus content. And you'll help me to continue bringing you great content here on this channel. And until next time, my dudes, I hope you guys get into some hijinks very, very soon. Bye bye